Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to discuss the load and resistance factor design method of designing a reinforced concrete two-way slab based on e-structural design zen found on the App Store. Sum up all the dead load from self-weight of slab, floor finish, and partition, if any. Then get the live load from minimum occupancy load guide to get the factored load. Check the assumed thickness from the given minimum thickness formula. Enumerate input parameters required. Name of slab like S1, S2, case number based on panel layout, longer span, shorter span, slab thickness, short direction bars with size and grade, long direction bars with size and grade, strength of concrete, and design loads. Table for coefficients for negative moments in slabs and table for coefficients for ratio of uniform load in short and long directions for shear in slabs and load on supports. Table for coefficients for dead load positive moments in slab. And table for coefficients for live load positive moments in slabs. Solve all applicable moments as follows. At short direction, negative moment at continuous edge, positive moment at mid span, negative moment at discontinuous edge at long direction negative moment at continuous edge positive moment at mid span negative moment at discontinuous edge solve for concrete beam design ratio rn and reinforcement ratio rho for all corresponding moments and check each value for minimum rho required by aci code solve the area of steel and equivalent bar spacing corresponding to short and long direction bars. Finally, test for shear strength by getting the nominal shear force from factored shear force and resistance factor and which should be less than the shear strength capacity of concrete. Design recommendation format as follows. Design criteria, dimension, thickness, short direction bars, and long direction bars. Thank you for watching. If you learned something from this video, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel.